This is your Mobile Minute. This might be a cautionary tale or a rant. I'm not really sure yet, but here goes. I go to the gym five days a week. I am a meathead. Five days a week. And with me every single day, every single moment is this device. It's become a very good productivity tool at the gym, as many of you know. I use it to listen to music. I use it to listen to audiobooks. I use it to listen to podcasts. And I also use it to put my headphones on so nobody talks to me. That's Now you know that. I also use it to track my progress at the gym. It is a very valuable tool. If you're ever at the gym, you have to track your progress. I used to use uh, Fit Builder by Pump One. Love, love, love that application. But I was looking for a new experience, new workout, new routines. Wanted something that actually um, created a workout for me and uh, and mixed everything up. So I, I landed on uh, Gain Fitness. And I love this app. I set up a program on the web. It syncs perfectly to my device, and I'm off to the races. UI is incredible. Exercises are awesome. And it's challenging, which is good. However, they built a product that I think was a quarter of the way done, and they released it. I became reliant on it, and now it's failing. And I think this is a good lesson to learn from mobile application development, especially when people are going to rely on the app every single day. It becomes a part of their day. And when it doesn't work, I don't know what to do. So, two things that they didn't do very effectively. The first one was they did not make this a cloud app. So, all of your pro- all of your progress is stored on the device itself. It is not stored in the cloud. So, when actually when you just log out and log back in, you lose your progress. Your history is gone. It doesn't matter how much how much weight you've lifted, it's gone. Fail. The other thing is that they were overwhelmed, and this happens with startups. I, I get it. They were overwhelmed at the server capacity. So uh, you sometimes I get, well, I uh, used to get it every very frequently, but now more and more, I get sync fail. So right now, those are my workouts. How many are there? Zero. Zero workouts. I can't even pull them down from the website at this point. This app is like a brick to me right now. Failure number two. And that's why I think that they're at 25%. If you're going to build an application that people are going to use every single day, You have to make it bulletproof. I don't care what that means on your end. Don't release it until it's ready, especially an app like this. It's a lesson to learn. Hopefully, you've learned that lesson. These guys, hopefully they are. No more excuses. Make it work. I don't care. Make it work. Or else I'm going to go and find something else that actually has made it work. And you've lost my business. On a side note, I spent two bucks on this. They also just uh, amended their pricing to free, which makes me even angrier. So they've got a lot of work to do. A lot of strategy to do, but it's a startup foible, and hopefully you guys aren't making that. This has been your mobile rant.